You know, so, and, and that, I should have asked this earlier. Before y'all got, you and Big got kicked out the club. Did, did you pound it out? Did you did you no. laugh, joke about it? Did no. like we never got a chance conversation in? Y'all gotta go. <laughs> there was no. It was we were just going back and forth. I was watching my boys do the moonwalk, and I remember, I remember C's coming in between us, and was like, "Yo, man, y'all don't. This ain't this ain't dope. You know, like what are y'all doing?" And I was like, no, we not, you know, and we were like, no, 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 no. And then it turned into a, you know, everybody leave. Got you. All right. Um, before I wrap this thing up, you have uh, successfully transitioned from rapper to full-time producer. You have scored movies. You've done your thing out there. Uh, one story I find extremely interesting uh, because I want to talk about two things. Number one, I want to talk about you producing uh, for Will Smith. I, mm -hmm. I, I heard that, that people told you they, they didn't want you to produce um, for Will. That's insane. And then secondly, one of my favorite artists uh, is Vivian Green. Oh, word. Um, that project came together. So, so talk, talk to me about Will first and then let's segue to Vivian. So, Will, I got a production deal. I got a very big um, publishing deal, I'm sorry, which I recommend people do not do. But I got this huge publishing deal, and the ink wasn't even dry yet, and I got the call to do to work with Will um, on his comeback record. And when I told my publisher, they were like, um, we don't advise that. And if you do that, we may we may have to restructure the deal. And so me and my attorney was like, no, a deal is a deal. The deal is signed. The money's paid. I'm not giving money back. <laughs> and I'm not turning this into a larger advance than what's already been given. So we go in and do this record called Switch. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I'm not saying it's like, it's not the, the hip hop classic of the world, but it was a number one record in like 18 countries Correct. and it did very well globally and it recouped my whole publishing deal within a year that so, one record yeah they hate oh man they was mad <laughs> they were mad but i was like it was one of those same with the atlantic street things it was the same thing i was like yo i told you so everybody's the same Everybody has a shot. You know, even when you think this person don't have, people didn't think I have a shot anymore. People thought my time came and went. Every as long as you're in the room, you're part of the you're part of the plant. So, so, so um, yeah, that's that's the long and the short of it. But, they but, but you didn't explain why. Why why wouldn't they want you? you because you they thought it was gonna be a flop. They thought that they thought that that my stock my stock as a producer was rising mm -hmm. and they thought by doing that record and it being a flop my stock would drop and i would not get you only good as your, your last placement right so when they think that you're a flop and you're not going to earn then what happens you know what i'm saying got you yeah and that one record turn around and recoup yeah. the entire <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. How does Vivian Green come into your life? So Vivian, um, a mutual artist that I knew um, that I was working with, introduced us. And um, she was working, she was just finishing an album. And um, she was just finishing an album. And, and uh, what, what was it? And I tried to, I was trying to push beats. And she shut me down. And then she worked on a new album. And when she was working on the new album, so when we were working on, um, so I started submitting for this next album that she was working on. And she ended up dissolving the relationship that she had with E1 when that, that album was out. And so we just kept working and working and working. And I was like, you know, we've, you know, yeah, I know. I'm pretty pretty sure you'll find another deal. Let's just keep working on music. And um, then I got the opportunity to 
do my own label through Universal, through Universal Caroline at the time. And I was like, well, I just so happened that we working on this and she needs a project and uh, she needs a, a label home. So I pretty much structured my label Make Noise around her and and that situation. And um, we did well, like we did three albums um, through the Universal system, um, ended up having how many? Uh, four top 20, three top 10, one went to number two. <laughs> um, but, you know, for f being in the independent space and back to your thing about being an executive, I totally get it now because I have to do it. You know, my days literally, so so now flash forward, this started in 2015, we're in 2023, fast forward, my production company handles, when speaking of Vivian Green, we handle her situation, we also handle her touring as well. So literally my day is, my day is carved into weird compartments. So be, me being on the West Coast, I got to get up at 530 every morning. So I hit the nine o'clock business crowd. So from 530 to maybe like 930 is all admin mm -hmm. stuff. Then I'm, you know, then I, you know, take time to work out or whatever. And then it's studio stuff. And then every weekend from you know from thursday to from friday thursday friday to monday tuesday we on the road so you know i'm juggling all those aspects so now like so to like i said to go back and answer your previous question maybe i wasn't equipped or ready to be in some sort of um, administrative or executive um, business position but trust me now that's i am thrown in it and i hate it no <laughs> i want to be in the studio all day long you know so yeah i got I, I gotta deal with it and you know so after after vivian there's other artists now that are on deck that are coming out through that situation that are going to come out and you know i probably won't play all of them so close to the hip but vivian's projects are extremely close to the hip because those are the, that that was the catalyst that brought in other opportunities. And then with Viv, she's a dope songwriter as well. So like the other R&B artists, we, we'll be in there like Ashford and Simpson at times and and working on their stuff. Or even like the like we just did a, um, a holiday film together. And she, you know, I scored the whole thing and she wrote all the songs. So it, it it's just like a snowball effect with different creative things that we do. So um, yeah, I, I super appreciate it. But trust me, man, it drives me crazy at times. Like, <laughs> so you literally are still on the road with her every weekend? Yeah, I'm in Atlanta this weekend. Wow. Uh, what is Atlanta is this weekend? So I'm on the road in three capacities. Mm -hmm. So I go on the road with her because the way the show is structured, I handle all the, the business to it. But at the same time, I um, well, not just me, I have a whole staff that handles the business, but my narcissistic self, <laughs> I got to be on stage too. So I'm like the DJ. And so like, you know, we'll go in, she'll do her stuff and then we'll go into a DJ set and then go back to some more stuff. Cause she has like seven albums to cover. And um, so from there, that's one thing. And then I have this collective called the alumni. So when I want to do my old school thing, the alumni is myself, special ed, Chub Rock, Moni Love and Dana Dane and nice and smooth. And we all have a collective together. We all get on stage together like a like a super group and we just do our records back to back to back to back to back to back. And um, so we're on a roll with that. And then promoters get up enough courage and they call me out to do to do <sighs> shows as well. So my weekends is usually one of the three or all three. There's times where literally 
I can be go from one show and run to the next show. And sometimes I I'll try to route things and you know because the R and B crowd and the old school hip hop crowd may not be the same thing. So I can Correct. route things and be in the same vicinity within the same weekend. So yeah, I, I be moving, man. Seriously. Nah, it's crazy. And and damn, I would love to see a, a, an alumni show. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, we have something coming. I'm trying to think of the closest thing. Hold on. Schedules are good. <laughs> I don't think. Um, yeah, I think our next thing is Indianapolis. Uh, and not Atlantic City. Atlantic City is going to be ill. That's a that's a thing where they're doing a 50th anniversary of hip hop and it's 50 yeah. artists. Yep, I see it promoted. Yeah. Yeah, our next thing is like Midwest, North Northern California, in Indianapolis, Houston, Rochester. Yeah. We are not we're in well, I think you would either which way. Atlanta is the closest East Coast thing that we're doing, and that's in September. Well, my brother, I'm going to tell you, th this has been my pleasure. Um, I, I have enjoyed our conversation. It, it, it has been fun, informative. And, you know, at the end of the day, I, I, I love talking to, to, because this is the 50th year of hip hop. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make it my, my, personal duty to speak to as many artists and producers and, and executives who really put bricks in this thing that has shaped all of our lives. Um, so having the opportunity to sit down with you, you know, I, I, I can tell you, I am truly, truly grateful. Thank you so much for the time Thank you. And, 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 and the good energy and the great stories, my brother. Thank you for having me. And, and for the people that don't know, I was 30 minutes late. <laughs> so I apologize publicly. But, but you gave us one hell of an interview, though. Thank you, man. Thank you for having me, seriously. Kwame, continue love, peace, blessings, and success, my brother. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. You also. My brother. All right, man. Peace. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.